My name is Melody Kennedy. <laughs> Since I've been at Washa the Hills, my spiritual life has grown significantly. Before I came here, I was in public school and that was really the best for me because of the environment I was in. Nobody was really Christian. And I told some of my friends I was Adventist and some of them knew and some of them came and asked me questions they had about the Bible occasionally. But I feel like I wasn't the best of examples to them as I could have been. So when I came here, it wasn't all in the plan, but I'm so happy I'm here. <laughs> because initially I was like, I don't want to move so far away from home and things like that. But God was telling me like, you need to come here for your spirituality so you can get closer to me. And since I've been here, you know how they say, idle hands are the devil's workplace. I have not been idle since, <laughs> since I've been here. That definitely keeps me from doing bad things. And the way that they have the program structured, we have Wednesday night prayer meeting and Vespers. And I would have never thought that I'd enjoy those things as much as I do now. Vespers especially is such a blessing to me because everybody's together and everybody believes what you believe and everybody thinks the way you think. And it's not like, oh, I can't say this or I can't do this because people are gonna think I'm weird. And I feel like since I've been here, my spirituality, I've been more comfortable because others here are like me and I've been able to grow more because of that. I have been doing vocational training <laughs> and it's such a blessing. It's giving you things that you can use in the future. Since I've been here, I've definitely had a lot of things to do that have been keeping me busy. I've been babysitting and I feel like that's been a learning experience for me. And I've learned how to deal with kids a lot better than I knew how before because I have a lot of younger cousins and they're cute and being in an environment where it's just me and children for about three hours it taught me how to keep them engaged and how to keep their interest for longer than just like 10 minutes or 20 minutes when they come by to see me and I've also been grading and that's helped me a lot because it helps me see how my grades are handled and like what I need to do to keep them where they're at. It helps me know what goes on with what I do in school. It shows me like what goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> and also not having my phone has definitely made a big impact. I've not been as idle as I would have been just because I don't have the phone. It's made it where I have to be doing something efficient without it. Like, I'm not just gonna sit there on it. I'm not just gonna be spacing out in class, paying attention to my phone. I'm paying attention. I'm giving the things I'm doing my full attention. It's not just half there. And I feel like that's definitely made an impact on me as well. The music program and the music style of Wash of the Hills has definitely been different from what I was used to. It's so positive. It's been such a blessing to me in so many ways. And it's exciting to go home and you hear the pastor in church say a verse like Proverbs 3 and you're like, oh, I know a song for that. Like, it's really exciting. And I'll be singing the song in my head while he's saying it. And it's helped me memorize scripture because for me, music is really important in my life. And for me to memorize something, the best is if you give me a song for it. I feel like I would have not known as much scripture as I do if I didn't get to learn about those scripture songs. And in classes too, they incorporate scripture songs. I remember my first year here, I got to write a couple scripture songs with my fellow classmates in my class when we were working on our memory verses at the end of the week. And that was fun and it was encouraging and I really enjoyed that aspect of watching those music program. There's so many other aspects to it. It's not just that one. There's the bell choirs and the orchestra, small choir and that's been such a blessing to me because there's some instruments I thought I would never be able to play that I've come here and there's people who are offering lessons for it and I'm able to do it. And bells, I would have never thought that I'd play bells. <laughs> but I came and I was like, oh, they have a bell choir. That's probably interesting and I love it. I love it so much. It's so fun and it's such a blessing when we get to travel and people are like, well, you've impacted my life with this music. Like, you've brought me something that I haven't seen or heard in a while. To see young people ministering, and it's not like by force, it's something that they want to do. And it's in their own way. It's not just preaching or speaking to other people. It's 
going with music, which is an international language, everyone understands and relates to music. So when you share music, people are so blessed by it. No matter where they're from, where they're at, music is a blessing to everybody. And I think that's why there's so much of it here at Washita. It might seem like it's hard and it's not worth it to leave your family and the friends that you know, but one thing I've learned since I've been here is that Watch of the Hills isn't just preparing you for like this life, it's preparing you for eternity and it's preparing you to meet your savior. So even though it might be a big sacrifice for you currently and it might seem hard to do all those things, I guarantee that when Jesus comes and you're going with him up to heaven, that it'll be such a blessing and you'll be so happy that you came.